For the past few weeks, we've been exploring the colorful islands of Carousel. We have checked out all the touristy hotspots, from hiking to the highest point, swimming in the clear blue water, and watching spectacular sunsets. Williamstead, the capital of Carousel, boasts picturesque buildings and bright artwork full of Caribbean charm. Tourism is a major industry on island, and by strolling around town, you can certainly see why it is so aesthetically pleasing to so many. And while we loved exploring all the must-see places here, there are a few memories that made our experience in Carousel unforgettable. A fellow sailor once told us, in order to really get to know a place, you must first really get to know the people there. Thankfully for us, we made a few friends here and instantly our time in Carousel went from visiting another colorful island in the Caribbean to being unforgettable. For starters, instead of spending loads of money at the world's best mojito bar or waiting in line for buckets of beer, Denise and Steve took us to the secret snack spot where you can get a vodka to go for half the price of a beer. Right or vodka? I'll do vodka. Vodka with what? Soda. 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 Vodka soda. After a couple drinks from the secret window, we headed back to the boat because the next day, Steve and Denise had so much more to share with us. Today, we are going to meet Steve and Denise. We're going to have a little cookout. First, we need to launch our dinghy. I'm excited to hang out with them. So we're gonna pick up Bo and Brandy and head to the dinghy dock. When we visit new countries, we always want to eat, drink, and experience the day-to-day -day life there. So we were super grateful to be invited to the barbecue. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Brooke. Nice to meet you. A barbecue here is a lot like in the US. We had some drinks, listened to music, and laughed. The only difference? Instead of grilled burgers, we had freshly hunted iguana. And for an appetizer, we got to try iguana eggs. Do I think it's the eggs? Oh, really? Yeah, that's the egg. This is an iguana egg. You gotta bite a hole in it and then squeeze it out. No, no, you don't eat the whole thing. Oh, I don't eat the whole thing. Bite a hole in it and then squeeze up. No, no, you're losing it. Oh, I see now. I see. Got it. Oh, it's just like a regular egg. Oh, it tastes just like a yolk of a normal chicken egg. Not bad. Smile. It's all beer. The iguana, did you find it around here or did you have yeah, to go yeah. far? Yes, yeah, sure, oh. no, my house. Oh, just behind. Oh, okay. How about my house? How the bush is? Big trees? They live in there. We learned where and how the iguanas are hunted, and then it was time for us to try it. The dish consisted of iguana, cabbage, potatoes, and lots of spices. A little different than how we had it in Grenada. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's really good. Super yummy. I think it tastes kind of like gator, actually. Okay. All the best. Eh? Bye. Okay, Thank bye, you bye. so much. It was delicious. Bye. Bye. After the cookout, and after one too many drinks, we headed to watch the sunset over the harbor. <laughs> Woo! More vodka! <laughs> 
We cannot thank Steve and Denise enough for all they shared with us, but tomorrow is another day. Let's go ride Jeeps. <laughs> Our friends are part of a Toyota off-road club, so we loaded up in a couple of Jeeps and took off to the paths less traveled. On the opposite side of the Carousel coastline, far from white sand beaches and huge resorts, you find a deserted trail that leads to a rugged coastline. We drove down the dry dirt road and headed toward the Caribbean Sea, where we were greeted by the fierce power of the ocean. Once we were tired of getting sprayed by the sea, we hopped back in the Jeeps and continued dirt roading. Do you want a four wheel? Four wheel? Yeah. All right. Are we ready? There's some climbing here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Woo! I guess it's the country girl in me, but there is something so much fun about cruising down a dirt road while jamming to music with friends. <laughs> Masha Donkey to everyone in Carousel who made our time here extra special. While waiting for a weather window to sail to Columbia, we were able to squeeze in one more dive with our friends before going into passage prep mode. As soon as we hit the water, this eagle ray swam by as if to say, hey, follow me to the coral ledge. We swam along behind him and watched as the sandy bottom beneath us quickly dropped off to around 130 feet. The visibility here was not as good as our dive inclined carousel, but the coral and reef fish were plentiful and it was a great way for us to relax before our four day sail. dive, we headed back to the boat to get ready for us to check out of Carousel. We are heading to Customs 
Steve is going to pick us up and take us to Customs and Immigration so we can get checked out of Curacao and get on to Colombia. So hopefully, since we have a car and a driver, this process will go a little bit easier than it did when we checked in. <laughs> Step one is done. <laughs> Immigration says we can leave. <laughs> now we'll see if Customs says the boat can leave with us. <laughs> and we're all done with Customs. Now that we are officially cleared out, we only have 48 hours to depart. So we squeezed in a quick hike with some friends and watched the sun go down over the anchorage. We were definitely going to miss all our wonderful new friends from Carousel, but we know we will cross paths again one day. Good morning. Today I am preparing for our passage to Colombia. I filled out our Colombian COVID-19 paperwork and our float plan, and then it was time to start cooking. I'm on to food prep this morning for our passage and we accidentally bought an unripened papaya at the grocery store and we weren't sure what to do with it, so we contacted our friends here, and Denise's mom actually provided us with a recipe. You have to buy like stew meat, and then when you wash it, you cut it in pieces. You have to put like uh, onion, garlic, paprika. Okay, good luck, and please let me know, okay? Enjoy it. The stew is complete, and Gary is going to be my taste tester. The meat's good. Is that the papaya? That's the papaya. It's good. It just like melts in your mouth. Does it taste like a potato? It's like a very soft, very tender potato. It's good. Good passage food? Yeah, good job. Thanks. Well, it looks like all of our passage prep is done. So now we can go over to Bo and Brandy's for a barbecue and relax until tomorrow when we have a few more final things to do before we pull our anchor. It's moments like all of these that make it hard to leave a place. We truly meet so many amazing people out here and it's always hard to say goodbye. We've heard some horror stories from uh, this particular sail, but hopefully the wind and the seas are calm for us. Well, today is the day we set sail for Columbia. Boats all ready. Everything's stored away. Jack lines are out. We have about three or four days in front of us. It's gonna be all downwind, so hopefully it's finally a nice sail and hopefully our autopilot works the whole time. To say goodbye to Bo and Brandy, and then we'll be on our way. Bo and Brandy came by with some snacks for our passage, and once again, we had to say our see you laters. Going. See you in Columbia. Woo! I'm not sure. Love you guys. Love you guys. Be careful. Yeah, this is fun. See you in a month or so. Yeah, yeah. we'll have fun yeah. in uh, Colombia. All right, it is time to go to Columbia, get this anchor pulled and get on our way. This will be one of our biggest sails. So should be, hopefully we pick the right weather window and we'll do okay. Spanish water is a pretty crowded anchorage. As we prepared to pull up our anchor, we realized that our new friend Mike's boat was right over the top of it. So with Brooke carefully maneuvering at the helm, and Mike and I ready to push off between the boats, we were able to get the anchor up and be on our way. That was fun. 
Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we sail to South America.